Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to World of Outlaws Dirt Racing Championship Mode for race 10 of 14. We are going to Cedar Lake Speedway, and we are doing pretty good in the point situation. 24 points over Sheldon Hottenschild. And uh, Carson Mancito in fourth. I finally said it right. It took me the whole series nearly, but we finally figured it out. Um, but yeah, we have a 24-point lead. I mean, it's looking good, but... You know, anything can change. This game is wild with the start, so I guess I technically can adjust those if I want to, but I'm not gonna. But uh, settings, it's gonna be the same as it was in the previous race, so 102 difficulty. And that's gonna be pretty much it with that. And before we jump into it, as always, big shout out to my 2 2 Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members for supporting my channel again. It's always awesome, and I really much appreciate what you guys do and, and everything. It all adds up. And it just, it just, it just, it's just cool. And I, and you know, I just, I really appreciate it. And it makes my, makes my heart beat twice as fast, which I might have to go see a doctor. <laughs> but anyways, without further ado, we'll jump into it. Off the last corner, the first half is a 10.5. And it's actually a little bit worse. That's still nine. Not too bad. So, uh, all right, we're in heat four, starting second in that. And hey, Han a little bit scary because that we're gonna lose points potentially because he's gonna be starting up front. But anything can change. We can do well in the in the heat and do something good with that maybe. We are starting second, so we do got the outside line. That does seem to be the preferred lane around here. Though I feel like on the starts, the bottom lane might be the ideal lane. If I just had to guess. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little scared. Oh, Kinzer is up here. Hello. Yeah, it's just... It's only three-tenths of a mile track, but... And the lap times are pretty quick, but it doesn't really feel like it. Maybe it's because the track's a little bit wider. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I should not be the one to... You should not be the one to judge my dirt racing prowess on, on the things I'm saying. But Well, we're third, so... Well, we might get second. He's running the, the middle lane. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, that's a good run up the corner. Should be able to clear him and then get the second. Then we'll make it to the qualifying dash and probably run last there. So we got that to look forward to now. We'll make it to the qualifying dash there, no problem. Uh, Kenzer did try a little bit. He kind of made me a little, a little anxious, but no, we're fine. Starting ninth, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to run last in that. There's no way I'm going to run better than not last, because that's just how it always plays out there. So, yeah, I think we're in the last row, because I think there's 10 in this. Sometimes it's 8, sometimes it's 10. Okay, there's 10 in this one, okay. I think in, in, quick, uh, in quick race mode, it's, uh, it's 8. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're going to stop bouncing. Alright. Fine, we'll just take, we'll just start last then, in the, or at least, you know, last in this, or finish it. I, I don't know, it just figures. We didn't even get a chance to contend. Oh, <laughs> wasn't looking in front of me. We'll be honest, because usually when I'm racing, I'm always just looking at where the wheels are pointed, because I feel like, just, I don't know, my eyes just need to know where they're going. And I, I did not see there was three cars stopped. And how is that not a yellow? I'm, I, I don't understand any of that. That does not make any sense. My flag's out. The issue I've been having is just hitting the wall too much. I think I need to blip the throttle a little bit more. Or just start doing it more consistently because it just, I don't know. But we got eighth. We probably didn't deserve that. We flipped, like, not flipped, but we bounced around for like half a... <laughs> half a straightaway, so... We got very lucky, all things considered. It looks like Hanshaw's gonna start 5th. Or be 8th on the outside. Yeah, I don't... Don't know what to expect. But if I do know what's coming up is, uh... Announcer guy doing the... God Tier National Anthem. Four wide salute 
And this time, this track is much wider, so it, it looks looks nice. I don't think we'll have the same level of just uh, just anxiety-inducing fear like the previous race, because like I was saying, this track is a bit wider. Ideally, I wish I could start on the outside line, but we'll try to make do with what we can here. So, yeah, I don't know. They always like to slide up and stuff, so it's always... I always feel like it's really risky on the start. Kind of like that. <laughs> yep, yep. That's, uh, there goes 3% of our car damage, and there's, I think, I think I just boned poor Casey Kane, who literally had nothing to do with any of that. So, I am sorry to poor Casey Kane. I'm just trying to go, like, half throttle now, because after what I did to poor Casey Kane, I don't want to do that to another civilian. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good run off the corner. I didn't really think I was going to get that kind of run, but it kind of worked. Oh, a little bit of a slide job. That was, that was kind of nice. All right, well. Damn, we're... All right, well, we kind of avoid all the mayhem. So I think lap traffic is going to probably kind of bring a lot of that back. But P4, I will I will take it. Been a pretty tame race so far. Hot Child's actually in second, so that's a little bit of a concern. I don't... That's the problem of running the high side is always that good chance of hitting the wall and just screwing everything up. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. Now we're getting... Now we have to race Sherbert Ice Cream Man. Who's trying to slide job me, but nope. Mm -mm, nope. Not going to give it up that easily. Now this is where the race gets interesting. Because up to this point, we were just chilling in fourth. Oh my god, things were... St <laughs> what the fuck was that? Someone just did like a kickflip and landed it. Who the hell was that? I, don't, I guess it wasn't an Elite Lab car, but that was incredible. <laughs> Another thing, this is kind of like a trend, but in the single race mode, this race is only 30, but in championship mode, it's 40. I don't know, it still baffles me why it's like that. Yeah, now we're getting around, now we're finally getting to lap traffic for ourselves. I'm a little worried about it. I think if we have to, we might have to kind of use the inside line or just kind of dime in the corner a little bit or just do whatever you got to do to get the you know get around these slower cars i mean it's it's a wad i mean I, it this it's just asking for flips and carnage it's just it's gonna it's gonna happen at some point there's no way this race is gonna go green the whole way it just i don't know just there's just too much opportunities for, for just something weird to happen just like that oh <laughs> sure Sherbert's got some balls. He just freaking like just sent it in the corner. But I, all right, we got really lucky with all of that, and you know we got a yellow in the in the meantime. I don't know how I drove through that. <laughs> that was just luck. But now we got a really prime opportunity to kind of cheese. Don't wreck Hot Child again. That I, I felt bad the last time I did that. So I don't know if that boned him more positions or what. I'm just gonna keep it to the bottom until things kind of, you know, you know, settle down a little bit. Almost, almost died. It's very, what I'm learning in dirt racing, it's very hard to just relax. Might be obvious, but I'm learning that pretty, uh, pretty clearly throughout this series. And also, uh, we are now ahead of uh, Hot and Child, so that's good for a point situation. He's actually dropping back, so that's, that's not good. But it's really good for us, and we're trying to get around this guy, and I, I, I can't do it. His ice cream powers are just too strong. There might be more wrecks that I just, you know, don't see, because how are we lapping these? Oh yeah, these were the two that, <laughs> I don't know, that, that could be the, maybe they have a lot of damage or something. Or maybe they wrecked again, and I just, we just couldn't see it, but yeah, I don't know. So we're near the end of this, we have uh, about less than 10 to go. On Child's worked his way back up to fifth, so good rebound for him after the start. I really hope that little tap, I don't, I hope that didn't affect him because I really don't want to win a championship based on that. We almost, we almost, we almost made, we almost made him a banana split with that move. Five laps to go, still in second, uh, about a second ahead of, uh, or at least behind Swindell. He's dealing with lap traffic. And he just absolutely... <laughs> oh my god, Swindell just yeeted that guy. <laughs> that was fucked up. And then we're not even going to get yellow for that. He just he really just didn't want to deal with that poor... 
That was so... I almost... I... He wrecked. Disney's brother, Sisney, just wrecked for me. Alright, well... I was just ragging on Swindell for being mean to lap traffic, and then I do the same exact thing. So I am the freaking fool in all of this. But, hey, white flag time's gonna be upon us. And we're gonna... Looks like we're gonna finish second. Which is not bad. That guy is very slow, so we're just gonna go down low to... Don't. Don't throw us. Don't, don't throw. Don't get off the, get off the wall. Almost freaking obliterate him. We're fine. We got it. Jeez. <laughs> Almost threw away second and even more spots there at the end. And we gained positions on Hotchild, so hooray. Yeah, we probably didn't deserve second. It seemed like we had about a fourth place car. But that yellow kind of kind of changed some things. <laughs> so. Hmm. Well, otherwise, it's going to be another good point day. We'll gain more on second place. Wendell, again, probably should be a championship favorite, but he just keeps flipping in the races that, he's, that he doesn't do well in. That's a second win. Now we have a 30-point lead over Hunchout, so we do gain a couple. I think uh, about six. Uh, two, yeah, yeah, six points. So that's really good for us. And, I mean, we don't have it locked up yet. But I don't know. So basically, Hunter would have to win. I would have to get like 120 or 118. So I, I would have to finish 16th in the la in that last race of the season. So it's it's I haven't clinched it yet. But you know, it's, we're we're on the cusp. So with Cedar Lake done, next race we go to is Knoxville, and I mean that's a big old event in the sprint car universe, and I hopefully we can do pretty good there. That's a 50 lap race too, so I don't know what I'll be gonna do. I guess I'll do some practice laps and just kind of see just you know if I need to up the difficulty a little bit more or what exactly. But so far, I mean, 102 is pretty good. Maybe I could bump it up to 103, but I'm I don't know. I'm a little scared. I think 103 might be possible if we keep. If we get these like yellows like this, that can always give us a chance to gain spots. So maybe that's always a possibility. Um, so I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, that's really about it. I mean, we're doing good in the points. It's really basically between me and Hanchild. Gravel's too far back. Same with uh, Brad Sweet. It's re it's now just been a two car battle. So yeah, I don't know. It's it was starting to become like a five car battle, and then it just kind of fell apart. <laughs> I'm too consistent. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, that'll do it for me, and we'll wrap up today's episode. Big shout out to my two, three Patreon supporters of Dan Reynolds, Comic Cosmic Games, Dave Aaron Chan 15, Nascar Side, Dot Word, Billy Kier, Golf Girl 100, Emilio Bebster, Max Lewis 19, 6, Mark Harmon, and Agbar Fan 5556 for support. Again, really appreciate what you guys do for your channel every single month. It does mean a lot. You always go above and beyond. And it's just, it's very much appreciated, and it's just awesome. My chair is squeaking, because it's so happy. I know chair, I know, I, I, I know, it's a big deal, it's, it's cool. Okay, it stopped. So, yeah, just thank you so much yet again. And I'll see you all next episode for Knoxville, and we'll see if I have to up the difficulty a little bit more, or, or what exactly, because, I mean, it's good that we're running really well, but I, 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 I don't know if I need more challenge. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know where I should run that would feel reasonable. Like maybe, maybe like top five, like maybe like fifth, like maybe you're on that like fifth to sixth range. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but either way, that'll do it for me. I'll see you all next episode. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.